The uh, I t- I teach. Uh, I call it making soup, where you you take the back and in. You know, it's it's nice when we're in my gym. You know, I have I have a judo sub floor, Fuji mats. The you know, like there's springs. I think there's 16 mm. springs underneath every one of our floors. As oh, if that's you're in a, great. Yeah, like you're on an Olympic judo floor, and uh, you know, padded walls, air conditioning. We got fans. It's just the most conducive environment for it to be nice, safe training. You and I step out into that parking lot, the whole world changes about what jujitsu should look like. Right. So making soup is when I take that back mount. You know, I just take their face. And I push it into the ground, you know, like I only need an inch for me to break his orbital socket in his nose on the concrete, you know, and then like once those teeth and a little bit of, you know, the cerebral spinal fluid drips out of the nose, you know, and and a little bit of the blood and gum and saliva, like that all gets mixed in front of this, this guy's face before the darkness slowly closes in like, that's the end of the fight. Yeah. And concrete and with a back mount, it's uh, well, just fighting a judo guy. Yeah, you know, imagine that wearing a winter coat, fighting a judo guy in the street. Satoshi oh. threw me, you know, Olympic gold medalist, th- just threw me to the ground. Oh, it over and over and over again. Danaher, he's like, how beautiful, and I, because I was on the receiving end of it. He said, how beautiful is it for how effective it it is that he can just take somebody and put them on the ground. And I was like, yeah, it's really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what, how are his submissions? Um, not definitely not his. I I the I don't think he ever attacked one time. Really, just control. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he he had great control. He was really hard to get out from under. He's really strong. He has this gigantic head. Yeah, he's huge. You know, and his hands are. You know, his grips are. Well, he's like wild. five ten, two sixty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was he was hard. Very Mark Hunt esque. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so such a sweet sweetheart to train with. He, he was great, but being able to. You know, I can knock you out with my fist or my elbow or my shin or my knee, but he takes the earth and <laughs> he hits you with the earth. He hits you with the <laughs> with the earth. Yeah, yeah. The earth it, is big. The earth doesn't move <laughs> when you hit it. <laughs> it's yeah. not like a heavy bag. You're taking a stubborn, dumb object, yeah. me, and then you're taking a movable, an, an, a non-moving object like the earth, and like, yeah. No I've seen so many horrific street fights on on Instagram and YouTube where a guy picks a guy up and slams him on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. It's the worst. It's the scariest thing, man, because you land head first on the ground like that when somebody hoists you up in the air. Oh, bam. bam. I mean, fuck. It's... We, uh, <sighs> back to leg locks on the ground, I was teaching a course in New York, a sheepdog response course, and there was a couple of black belts that, that were in the course, and uh, we're fighting for guns and knives. They're rubber guns and knives, and um, the, I'm in half guard. and I take, you know, he had the weapon, the gun in his arm, in his uh, waistband, and uh, I... Under kind of he was covering it with his arm and I pulled it out the back so I now have his gun and he like dives he like dives underneath like he's gonna go for a leg lock and I'm why well, you have the gun oh well, I have the gun and I'm, I'm standing over him and I'm just like so I tap him as, as he's you know like I, I'm yeah. good at leg locks and I'm just like moving my feet so he's not getting it finished but I'm like tapping his forehead with the gun and uh, he still hadn't processed like as he's like having uh, this piece of plastic hit him in the face and he like finally opens his eyes and, and the realization that I'm tapping him in the face with the gun that as he's diving for a leg lock you know how dangerous you know sports jiu-jitsu is to combat jiu-jitsu yeah. that's why I love that combat jiu-jitsu it's, yeah. it's adding a degree of realness well it's definitely opening up people's eyes that were just straight up jiu-jitsu players that took a chance and didn't want to do MMA but said let me see what happens when you add slaps yeah you know, but you see guys who excel at that, like guys like uh, Wag- Wagner Rocha, yeah. who's, uh, you know, a, a jiu-jitsu black belt, but also an MMA fighter. And so he gets on top of guys and smashes <laughs> them, just smashes He's them. good. Yeah, it's just like you, you, there's a lot of positions that aren't really effective unless you make this agreement where you're not going to slap or nope. strike. It's the same thing with boxing. Like people always say, like, boxing is a very effective martial art. Sure, if we make an agreement that I'm not going to pick you up and throw you on the ground, or if we make an agreement, I'm not going to kick your legs out from under you. Yeah, yeah. It's like as soon as you make an agreement with that, like that's a there's a great video on uh, Glory Kickboxing's uh, Instagram page of uh, this dude. I forget his name. This Russian guy, like real high level guy who fought Badr Hari, fought a lot of guys, but he's fighting this boxer, and it's a boxing versus Muay Thai fight. And it's hilarious to watch because this this is it. Yeah, it's Fuck, comical. What is his name? I, I, does it say his name? 
Uh, this dude's. I've seen this guy fight multiple times. Four of those kicks that were done. I mean, it's it's crazy because the guy comes in trying to box and he's just getting his legs destroyed. He never gets a chance to set his feet, uh, and then he gets head kicked and then chopped out, and then this is the end of it. He's like eventually like, "What the fuck, man?" And that guy's not walking for days, by the way. Alexei Ignashov. That's it, right? Yeah, that's the dude. And he's he's a a fucking super technical guy who was uh, I think he actually has one decision win over Bader Hari like back in the day, but like super super high he kicks level beautifully. Oh my god, he's he's excellent. His uh, downfall was the the hooch. The guy <laughs> liked to drink a little bit too much, partied. Haleo Gracie, oh, you know, Hoyler told me as we we're talking about jujitsu evolving. Um, he says my dad would say that if somebody can touch your face while you're doing jujitsu, that you're doing jujitsu wrong. Mm. I'm like, dude, that's brilliant. Yeah. 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 